So here we are on Christmas Day. The sun is bright and the wind is pretty keen and cold. So um, the plan today is to open up Abbey Hive and to apply oxalic acid to the seams of bees which will be clustered. And uh, the reason we do that is because the varroa mites, which are, are parasites for bees and very dangerous vectors for disease going into the bee, uh, are currently out of the cells. There are no bee eggs, no bee larvae, no brood, which is where they uh, breed and multiply. So these varroa mites are now actually physically on the bees, and the oxalic acid, which is rhubarb acid, is going to knock off those varroa mites and give us a very low uh, rate of infestation of varroa uh, in this hive going forward into the build-up in the spring. So I'm just going to remove the top, take the lid off, gently. Here we have some insulation which keeps the bees warm during the winter on this windy rooftop, as well as the cellophane wrapping that I applied for the cold months of uh, late December and January to uh, avoid wind chill. Uh, I've also put some feed on, so when I take off this, we'll see there's some uh, neopol, which is a mixture of pollen and um, sugar inverted sugar, which is a good nourishment for the bees as well as material for them to start breeding. So uh, into the spring that will be very useful for them. I'm now going to remove the roof. You'll hear it cracking open as we um, break the propolis seals. And the bees will be quite calm underneath. They've been uh, clustering quietly in the winter period, and temperatures close to zero. So let's see how they present right now. Okay, Abbey Hive, good to see you ladies. Welcome, happy Christmas. You see that circular cluster, which denotes that they are all in that zone of uh, warming each other. So let's apply five mils of oxalic acid into each seam of bees. See how placid they are. We do breed our bees here for their very uh, tame and congenial qualities with our neighbours and with uh, the rest of the world. And they do make the most delicious honey which you will uh, be able to buy in London. So, almost done. As you can see, they're very happy to accept this. The oxalic acid is a very low concentration in a high level of sugar. So that's done. What we'll now do is put their roof back on. And considering that what we've just done is to lower the temperature in their brood chamber from the uh, mid-20s to something approaching zero pretty quickly, we change their environment from dark to light and uh, we've applied some uh, wet, slightly warmed uh, oxalic acid on them. I would say that they are pretty accepting of the uh, medicine that we've just given them. So pop anybody onto the landing board so they can find their way back into the night. On again with the insulation to make sure that these bees on this windy London rooftop have uh, all of the protection they need and when they generate the heat they need to raise young bees that heat will stay in the hive without them having to exert any extra energy. And the roof goes on, fold on polystyrene, the um, polythene wrapper, gently balanced, press down hard, strap on to uh, make sure that the hive stays where it's supposed to be and there we have a Christmas day varroa treatment for the Bermondsey street bees. Good to see you ladies and enjoy the rest of your day.